Good morning class. Today we are going to do this chapter from the diary of Anne Frank. Anne Frank was born on 12th of June 1929. A Jewish girl who went into hiding during the German occupation during the Second World War. She was gifted with the diary on her 13th birthday. When she was gifted a diary, she never thought that she would write down. She always thought that it was a very strange experience for her. She had earlier never written and thought that uh, that she was not the sort of uh, sort of a person who would sit down and write. So for her, it was really a strange experience. She thought that. Um, Writing a diary would not be a good idea because she thought that no one, including herself, would be interested in the musing of a 13-year-old. She feels the need only because she wants to get things out of her chest. She thought she believed in what she'd heard once. She said she believed truly that paper is more patient than a person. She says she has a lot of friends, but there was none in whom she could confide. So she had many friends with whom she could sit, laugh, giggle, but not one in, with, in whom she could tell what she was going through. She, she felt quite alone in this whole world. She had a loving mother, a very doting father, an elder sister called Margot, but in the midst of, and many, many aunties and uncles, but in the midst of all of these people, she thought that she was living a lonely life. And so she thought that writing a diary would be a good idea. She names her diary as Kitty. He, she has a very adorable father, a man that she looks up to. He is Otto Frank, a businessman, a man of strong character. Edith Frank, the mother, who, whom she thinks is not as sensible as the father, she has a very strong feeling that Edith Frank, the mother, loved Margot more than her and that she was not quite sensible to understand her feelings. Margot, who, uh, who was a very um, perfect elder sister and under whose shadow Anne had to live and therefore Anne begins to dislike her elder sister. It is only after they move to the annex in the hiding that she develops a liking uh, towards her sister. Then she is very fond of her grandmother, her grandmother who died and Anne has written in this diary that each single day she misses the grandmother in the family. So in this, uh, from uh, what we read today is a portion from, a small portion from the diary that Anne has written. This is an anecdote about uh, about how she moved to the next class, the class and how what happens when she moves. So it is the parents meeting, uh, the teacher is deciding who goes to the next class and who stays by. Anne has a feeling that none in the class deserved, none in the class deserved to go to the next grade. She thought that a quarter of students should stay back and that the teachers were very generous to let them move. She does not like maths. And more so, she does not like her maths teacher, Mr. Kiesing. So in her diary, Anne Frank describes Mr. Kiesing as an old foggy man who teaches maths. He, this man, this teacher, Mr. Kiesing, was very annoyed with Anne Frank because she talked so much. After giving several warnings, he assigned and Frank extra homework and he said after you finished the homework that was given to all of uh, the students in the class she was to write down an essay on the topic a chatter box. Anne goes back home after she finishes the homework her, she, she noticed the piece of paper where she's written the title of the essay and she sat thinking what she could write about. See she in the essay she wrote writes about how she can justify her talking so much. She writes in the essay that her mother was very talkative and that she's, it is genetically passed on to her and that she cannot help but talk and that she had not no control over it. Now, the essay is written in the class. Mr. Casing is quite amused, but the, 
did, it did not change Anne Frank a bit. And so the second, a second uh, page is asked, the second time a punishment is given and the title this time is Incorrigible Chatterbox. Anne goes back home again and she puts her thoughts and then brings it back and the teacher reads it. The teacher again finds it uh, humorous but then uh, does it impact Anne Frank in any way? It does not. And Frank, for a few lessons, sat down quietly, but after all, she was the incorrigible chapter box. This time, the teacher gave her a title, and the topic this time was Quack, 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 said Mrs. Chatter Box. Now, Anne Frank writes a, a poem with the help of a friend, and in her poem, she writes down how a, a father's swan kills the duckling because they quack so much. Now this poem is taken to the class and Mr. Kissing reads the poem and understands what Anne wanted to wanted him to understand. He understands that asking somebody to, to uh, stop talking, asking somebody to stay quiet is almost choking that person like the father uh, swan does in the, the poem. After this, Anne says, Mr. Kissing was quite a changed person. In fact, she says, now he jokes and laughs in the class. That's the chapter for you from, from the diary of Anne Frank. Thank you.